episodes of The Traders stream Thursdays at 9 on Peacock with Alan Cumming. You can see Darren Chris in Little Shop of Horrors off Broadway. <laughs> Sam Spector is dressing Alan Cumming for the gods in The Traders. Alan, when you walk around and you tap the traders and yes. let them know they will be traders, that must be a very it's scary the most thing to thing, do. Yes, I could f up the entire. You could f up the entire yeah. show. And and um and of course this and this time there was twenty one of them rather than twenty. And okay, so they were all more squashed. It was hard to get my arm in. Right. And uh, and 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 also. We we're only going to do, we only did two this time at the beginning. Remember that? Right. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I got it. Um, but it was terrible. And I would do, I did things like I did my arm to make noises. Right, and right. And them, and then it was I was doing all these tricks. But it is actually really scary, and everyone's so tense because yeah. it's you know the big start of the show. Where so do you do? Do you do their shoulder? I or? do like I do like yes yeah, like yeah, just a tap. But Fair first of all, enough. we go round. First of all, we go round and I tap everybody, so it's on camera, so they've got it. Okay. So, mm hmm, this is inside tips. Ah. And then I go around and I go around lots of times and I stop and I do funny you know, noises. Right, oh, you do. Ah. And then I, and then I, but it's so, and I have not to stop when I do the real ones because I've got to go, right, go by. Right. And I remember Phaedra had a lot of, she had a lot of outfits. Decolletage. Yeah, decolletage. Yes. So it was really difficult. Yeah. I was really scared that I was going to blow it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it is actually the most scary part of it. I whole bet thing. it is, actually. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our virtual vans. Nicole and Brandon from Minneapolis. What's your question for Alan? Hi, Darren. Hi, Alan. Andy, I love you so much. Thank you for existing. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan, have you seen Eddie Redmayne as the MC in Cabaret? And do you have any advice for him as he moves from the West End to Broadway? Um, no. Uh, first of all, I was in Minneapolis on, on uh, Sunday night doing a show. Well, Why didn't you come? You missed it. Blew it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, went to a, I went to a gay bar where they have people in showers afterwards. Oh, I've one? been to that bar. Isn't it fun? Yeah. <laughs> I dragged Anderson there. Uh, Minneapolis. I anyway, I have not seen it. I don't think it's actually opened yet. I didn't see it in London either. Um, I have... No, I feel like I'm really glad that it's a new big production of Cabaret that sort of breaks the binary of me and Joe Gray. Yeah. But I feel like it's 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 a it's such a great part. You could do whatever you like with it, and I feel Eddie is so brilliant. I don't I don't I, I I'm actually just happy that there's a new production and it's not just about me and Joel. And I think uh, uh, Gail Rankin, who's playing Sally Bowles, played Fräulein Cost in the last time I did it on Broadway. Oh, you're kidding? Yeah, and she's Scottish and everything. So I'm going to go and see it. How long did you do it on Broadway? I did it two times for a year. And he came back. So you did yeah. Tosh and JJL. I did Tosh, Jennifer Jason Lee. Mary McCormack, and then I came 16 years later. I did um, uh, Michelle Williams, Emma Stone, Emma Stone right. and Sienna Miller. Oh. And in London, many years ago, like a thousand years ago, I did Jane Horrocks. You're I mean, I didn't kidding. do Jane Horrocks. I just. <laughs> I, saw, I saw two of those. With... Who did you see? I saw Emma and I saw, uh, I saw Natasha. Uh, oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you so... must have been a baby. Yeah, I was really young. Yeah. 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 You shouldn't have been allowed in. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, here's Tatiana from Miami with a question for Darren. Hi, Sadie Andy. Hey. Hi, Alan. You're a legend. You are the moment. You look amazing. Thank you. Darren, I'm so excited to ask you. Did you get a chance to see your pal Leah Michelle in her in Funny Girl during her run? Of course. And what did you think of the rumors? The rumors that she doesn't know how to read. Oh, yeah, how would that? How did that get started? It's how my would that favorite get started? thing. I mean, and she can't and I love like exacerbating this rumor as much as humanly possible. Yes. If anybody loves this rumor the most, it's me. And okay. I definitely fuel this flame. It okay. will be so angry that I'm doing this. First of all, I did see her. She was phenomenal, yeah. obviously. Um, and what else is there to say about her talent? She was born for that. It was excellent. Um, I don't she, know where it started. She can read, though. She, of course she can. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Or can she? Am I just yeah, protecting right. her yes. from her vulnerable That's position? That's the question. I heard, she can read. I heard Jonathan Groff does all her reading for her. Oh, probably. Well, I like this. I heard Let me he's add her to the reading canon. buddy, and oh, okay. that's yeah. why like they're walker. always together, because he's yeah. a really good reader for two. Nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. That's yeah, what so I that, heard. Okay, so then maybe I'll add myself as, like, maybe I, I like, transcribe things for her in, right. in a yes. script that you she can understand. Right, yes, you sign stuff for her. I, yes. I, we have secret hand signs. Yes. She, she can read, yes. and she, oh my I don't think she would have been able to do Funny Girl. She can read. Or could she? Even a Yeah, right. I want to thank Alan Cumming, Darren Chris, and Sam Spector from Marshall Club, Good night, everybody.